Hello students! Welcome back to our Math Talino tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to solve age problems. So, let us start with our first problem. Dandy is 6 years younger than Noel. 5 years from now, Dandy's age will be 4 fifths of Noel's age. How old are they now? Let's start with our solution. We organize first the given in our problem using a table. So we prepare a 3 column table. For the first column, would be allotted for the persons involved in our problem. And for the second column, it would be allotted for their present ages. And for the third column, would be allotted for their ages 5 years from now. In the problem, it is stated that Dandy is 6 years younger than Noel. So, if we let Noel's age be equal to x, that means to say that Dandy would be x minus 6 since he is younger than Noel by 6 years. For their ages 5 years from now, we simply add 5 to Noel's age, which is x. So, that becomes x plus 5. And we also add 5 to Dandy's age, which is x minus 6, so that becomes x minus 6 plus 5. After completing the table, we create now our equation. So we focus with their ages 5 years from now. Because it is stated in our problem that after 5 years, Dandy's age will be 4 fifths of Noel's age. So, Dandy's age is x minus 6 plus 5. That would be equal to 4 fifths of Noel's age, which is x plus 5. In equation form, that would be written as x minus 6 plus 5 equals 4 fifths of x plus 5. We now start solving for the value of x in this equation. But before that, it would be easier if we cross multiply the denominator of 4 fifths to the left side. So this will become 5 times the quantity x minus 6 plus 5 equals to the numerator will remain on the right side. So 4 times quantity x plus 5. Using the distributive property, we multiply 5 to all the terms in the first parenthesis. And we also do the same on the right side. We multiply 4 to the terms on the second parenthesis. Multiplying our new equation, 5x minus 30 plus 25 equals 4x plus 20. Notice that on the left side, we can combine negative 30 and positive 25. So that becomes 5x minus 5 equals 4x plus 20. Now, we collect the terms with variable x to the left side. And we can also group the terms which are constant to the right side. So we transfer negative 5 to the right and 4x to the left. This equation will become 5x minus 4x equals 20 plus 5. On the left side, 5x minus 4x, that is equal to x. And on the right side, 20 plus 5, that is equal to 25. So x would be equal to 25. Going back in our table, we know that the variable x represents Noel's age. 
So therefore, Noel is 25 years. And since Dandy's age is x minus 6, we simply subtract 6 from 25. So Dandy is 19 years old. So we are now ready to state our final answer. Thus, Dandy is 19 years old and Noel is 25 years old. Let us now have our second problem. A teacher is 15 years older than her student. In 15 years, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 2. Find their present ages. For our solution, we do the same thing. We summarize the given data using a table. According to the problem, a teacher is 15 years older than her student. So if we let her student's age as equal to x, the teacher's age would be equal to x plus 15 since she is older by 15 years. Now, we simply add 15 to get their ages 15 years from now. So if the present age of the student is x, her age after 15 years would be x plus 15. And if the teacher's present age is x plus 15, her age 15 years from now would be x plus 15 plus 15. Now, we create our equation. Again, we focus ourselves in the third column. As stated in the problem, in 15 years, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 2. Take note that the three parts in the ratio represent the teacher's age and the two parts in the ratio represent the student's age. So we now create our ratio. So our equation would be the teacher's age, x plus 15 plus 15, all over the student's age, x plus 15, that would be equal to the ratio 3 is to 2. Now, we can solve for the value of x in this equation. But before that, since both sides of our equation contain a fraction, we can simply do the cross multiplication. So, 2 would be multiplied to the numerator and the 3 would be multiplied to the denominator. We now distribute 2 as well as 3 to the parentheses. This will result to 2x plus 30 plus 30, which is equal to 3x plus 45. On the left side, 30 plus 30, that is equal to 60. So we can rewrite our equation as 2x plus 60 equals 3x plus 45. Collecting the terms with the variable x to the left side and collecting the constant terms to the right side, we can do the transposition method. So, positive 60 will be transposed. So, positive 60 will be transposed to the right side and positive 3x will be transferred to the left side. So, this equation will become 2x minus 3x equals 45 minus 60. Combining similar terms, 2x minus 3x, that would be negative x, and 45 minus 60, that would be negative 15. Notice that there is a negative on the variable x, so we have to eliminate that one by multiplying negative 1 to the whole equation. Multiplying negative 1 to each and every term in our equation, that would give us positive x equals positive 15. Or x is equal to 15. Going back in our table, x represents the student's age. So, the student is 15 years old. And since the teacher is 15 years older than her student, then we simply add 15 to 15. So that would be equal to 30. Thus, 
the teacher is 30 years old and her student is 15 years old. Let us now proceed to our last problem. Megan is twice the age of her brother Jello. Five years ago, she was thrice as old as her brother. How old are they now? Again, for our solution, we create a table to organize the given data in our problem. In the first sentence, it is stated that Megan is twice the age of her brother Jello. So, if we let Jello's age as equal to x, then double of Jello's age would represent Megan's age. So, that would be represented as 2x. To get their ages 5 years ago, we simply subtract 5. So, if Jello's age now is x, 5 years ago, he was x minus 5 years. For Megan, if her age is 2x, then, 5 years ago, her age would be 2x minus 5. We now proceed in creating our equation. And we focus again ourselves to the third column. According to the problem, 5 years ago, Megan was thrice as old as her brother. Meaning to say, the age of Megan which is 2x minus 5, would be times 3 of Jello's age, which is x minus 5. In equation form, that would be written as 2x minus 5 equals to 3 times x minus 5. Solving for the value of x in this equation, we first distribute 3 to the parentheses on the right side. So this would become 2x minus 5, that is equal to 3x minus 15. Collecting the terms with variable x to the left side and the constant to the right side, it means that we need to transpose negative 5 to the right and positive 3x to the left. This equation will be equal to 2x minus 3x equals negative 15 plus 5. Then, we combine similar terms on the left side, 2x minus 3x, that would be equal to negative x. And on the right side, negative 15 plus 5, that would be negative 10. So, the resulting equation would be negative x equals to negative 10. Now, we need to eliminate the negative on the variable x. And we do that by multiplying the whole equation by negative 1. So, multiplying each of the terms in our equation by negative 1, the resulting equation would be equal to positive x equals positive 10. Going back in our table, we said that jealous h is equal to x. That means to say, Jello is 10 years old. And for Megan's age, we just double the age of Jello or multiply by 2. So 2 times 10, that would be equal to 20. Thus, Megan is 20 years old and her brother Jello is 10 years old. That is all for our problem solving involving age problems. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for listening.